Alright, what's chill dudes? It's Crawberry here. Welcome back to another episode of Life in the Woods. I'm so sorry I didn't upload a Life in the Woods video last weekend, but I had uh, like dinner with my grandparents and I basically just ran out of time to record the Life in the Woods episode. But don't worry, the series should like continue. I'm gonna try and upload these as often as I can, like basically every three days or so. But I'm gonna try also not to miss a single episode because I feel so bad after not uploading that last episode. I felt like I disgraced you guys. Anyway, I have 30 levels. I used the zombie mob farm, so we're going to be enchanting a new sword because our current sword is I'm breaking three and not back two. That's a terrible sword. So let's hope for the best. What? <sighs> Whatever. Two unbreaking um, three knockback two swords. God dang it. <sighs> That's a shame. Uh, we don't have any space on here. I could probably go grab that stone knife and use it somewhat. Alright, we're going to be keeping that for the bit. 26 frames? Why is it all choppy? Oh, yeah, it's because I'm uploading a video. Hope you guys don't mind me uploading a video. But I've got a lot of things to show you this episode. Okay, now it's back. Got a lot of things to show you guys. I've done a lot of work on this place. So let's start off with the excess storage room. Uh, I did have the roof and I have finished it. Basically, uh, you can see the inside. Last episode we were working on it, but basically I've now completed it. It's got lots of beams, it looks really good. Uh, I lowered the roof so it's basically only two and a half high here. But since it sinks one into the ground, it feels like it's a three high area. So it looks like something like that. I might even uh, dig up the floor so we could have a little space in the air in the back so we could do stuff with this area. What I'm planning for this area is, do we have any just surrender? No, we don't have any just surrender blocks. But we could add a very thin ceiling over here and then we could have like a little crafting area and all of that jazz. Uh, but this is basically what I've got for this little area. I mean, we could probably tear this up, but I've also got, where is it, hidden light, I've got hidden lighting somewhere, here we go, here's one of the hidden lightings, I've got a hidden lighting here, which can shine through the slabs, so I'm not sure what we'll do for hidden lighting, yeah, we could do it right now, what's up with the frames, oh man, hopefully it's not too bad for YouTube, I'm not sure how 30 frames really works with YouTube, and whether going under a fixy uh, view of it. So, I'm thinking maybe something like, oh, we get the dirt, carpenter's block, jack-o'-lantern there, and then we could chuck the eclogite cobblestone like that. That's actually pretty good. Hmm, I like that. And this looks really obnoxious like that, but I've got a steer block there. Well, we could probably turn that around. Oh my gosh, we're doing so much already, like just by themselves. So if we take out the stairs you could see how there's a slab over there. We could turn it around maybe like that. Yeah that looks a whole lot better. Yeah we already did like improve this little storage hut. But yeah overall it's really good. Oh the insides of the chest I'm sorry. In the insides we've got uh, dirt over here which is just excess dirt from uh, clearing out the orchard over there with all the jungle trees uh, and here we've got a lot of lavender flowers because if you look out basically it's just all lavender f flowers and all of that so those are all the flowers I've got uh, this is a lot of saddles and a lot of music discs and all of those are from our fishing traps outside which keep collecting saddles and name tags and all of these music discs we've got all of these enchanted bows from again the fishing traps Eventually we'll have to combine a lot of these and make a power 5 bow one day. Lots and lots of fish, which I have no idea what to use for, but I have been cooking them up and using them as my food source. Uh, all of the different kinds of seeds so they don't uh, bottle up in my chest. Got water bottles, uh, some quartz. I already made a stack of quartz blocks, uh, some enchanted blocks. Look, Fortune 3. Protection 2 there, Infinity 1 right there, Flame 1, Respiration 1, Protection 4 book, 
Silk Touch 1. We got a Silk Touch 1, which means if we ever want a cob uh, cobwebs, then we could just chuck those Silk Touch on some shares. But I think that's about it for the XC storage. So that's the XC storage area. And then let's look over here. I had a little mess. Oh, what the. That looks weird. Okay. I had a little mess around with the. What's I'm gonna call it? The carpenter's blocks and tried to make a little statue of myself, as you can see right there. I think that's a visual bug. Because that little part's supposed to be on the left hand side of the face. Well, what do you think? It looks pretty cool. Screenshot right there. There we go. I think it looks pretty cool. Of a, oh man, I shouldn't have taken a screenshot with that thing poking out of my face. But I've also got an iron sword here on the back and it's he's kneeling. I think he looks pretty good. I think there probably should be a different block for the skin color. Because if I, if I remove that torch, pick it up. It looks kind of odd. I'm not sure. Tell me whether you like it or not or whether I should upgrade it. I think I could probably use maybe some gold blocks for the here. I don't think I have enough gold blocks for here though. Uh, what else is new? Deliberately not look right. I have adjusted the kitchen shop area and made it look a lot more roomy, a lot more interior designed. So we've got a front space now and we've got our desk and uh, we've got a desk which I made via the car. Well, is it the carpenters? No, I think it's Bibliocraft. So, desk. One of these things. I don't think. Oh, I'm not sure what they really do. So you've got that. I'm not sure what they really do because I think you can no nope, right click him with something. What is it? Left click. So. Oh, I don't know. You could store something in them. There we go. So, I don't know what exactly you do with these. You can, I can't really chuck any of these blocks inside. I can't really chuck any fish inside. If you have any idea what I could chuck there, then feel free to let me know. I think maybe a book? I'm not sure. We've got a little cabinet over here, which I've stored my axe, my Bane of Arthropod for Efficiency 4 and all of that axe. So I really like that there. Uh, I've rearranged uh, these. Oh, you can see that over there. I'll show you that in a second. I've rearranged this little cooking area, so that looks nice. Uh, we'll have to shift that light over as well. I don't have my hammer on me. And then this is a new part. This is the wall which separates the two... Uh, basically this room. So here we've got the ladder and it takes us to the top as usual. I've got a little bit here so we can pass the night off. And then this other side is the basement which I did plan. With the black granite which we found on our trip, I have made this cooler area. It's a pretty cool cooler area, right? Am I right? No. No? It's pretty cool, right? I love it. So many chests, but... You know, basically you've got all your food in here. I have yet to sort out the food in this area. But we've got some food, we've got some pr all of this stuff. I don't really know the difference. I think the difference is all of this is edible and then all of this isn't. Yep, and then we've got all of our tools here. Over here I made some stock and some potato soup. So we can have that if we ever run out of fish, which I very, very much doubt. And some stock and some potatoes. And it looks really nice. I really like the design of this area. And we've got some lighting as well underneath these stair blocks. Like so. Because somehow light does shine through the stair blocks. I don't know. I think with the shader pack it looks really good with the orange. Oh what's going on with the flickering? I'm just seeing. I don't know why but the blocks flicker. When you're not in V-Sync I think. But basically every now and then if you're. There it is. Is it V-Sync? I was messing around with it earlier. If I chuck it on V-Sync, does that work? There we go. 40 FPS. It's on 40 FPS. I mean, they're still flickering, but it's a lot less. Bugger hell. That's irritating. But yeah, that's that little area. Really nice. And then uh, I kind of finished it off with some leaves around the outside. I don't think you guys care about it too much. Oh! One thing I did discover when I got back is you can walk through cinnamon trees. I mean, it's like, what? Why can you walk through cinnamon trees? It's so stupid. 
Oh well, I guess you could just clip through the cinnamon trees. That's why we don't have any official uh, mod stuff inside vanilla Minecraft. Vanilla Minecraft, you can't clip through any blocks, but apparently in whatever mod it is, blinds are plenty. You can clip through cinnamon trees. All right, that's that. And then we've got over here. I've been working around this area. Uh, I did show off the statue, but uh, I have modified the path a little bit. So there's one branch of the path turning left towards the fishing shack, which is going to be encompassing this little lake area. I think the water looks amazing in this mod pack. I mean, look at this. Doesn't that look amazing? It's beautiful. That's beautiful. And then here's our little fish traps. 13 fish, I don't really care. And then this is something I have worked on for about an hour, maybe two hours. Just getting the design itself took way too long. But here we go, this is the start of our first very big house in our village. I mean that house isn't really as detailed. This one has been an attempt to work on multiple levels. But I've been working on the exterior, trying to make it look really good. And I think overall, I think it is really good. So I'll take you through all of the design features. So here we've got a little indent entrance area. That way you've got a little bit of a shelter from the rain if you would just want to stand here. And then the path just takes you straight to the door. I don't have any doors here yet. Uh, and then that's just one level. That didn't really... This really did take a long time to try and work out all of this stuff. Over here we've got uh, we've got this little glass area. This is all half carpenter's blocks and then the glass is in half. It's not glass panes, just half blocks of carpenter's blocks. And little outlet around here. It took a very long time to do. Uh, got a longer over there. These blocks over here actually, these are just render blocks on top of just render blocks because up here it like flows seamlessly but if you look here you can just see uh, the blue schist cobblestone what's actually happening is uh, I've put the just render wood on top of the surface of the blue schist cobblestone which is over there but it looked uh, outdented from the wood over here, so I chucked some uh, just around the blocks over there as well. So all of the blocks have just around the block covering, so it looks very seamless. And you also have the blue schist uh, cobblestone on the inside, just above the glass. I think it looks really good. Uh, if I have my hammer, I'll, qu I'll go get my hammer really quick. Oh, by the way, over here is going to be basically the armor and tools, the blacksmith area. It's if we want to pick like different armor for different occasions. Although we should technically be wearing full diamond all the time because this is a hardcore series. Uh, where is... there's our hammer. I'll show you really quick. How much time have I spent? 13 minutes! Holy cow! I wanted to do something this episode. But I have been doing a lot of work. You can see how the wood here is out... Oh, well, outstretched from the uh, inside of the wood. Where's our wood block? You can see how there's a little indent there and how there's a covering. If I pop that one off, that's a blue schist. So all I do is just I right click on the carpenter's block and it will instantly layer the just run the wood block on top of it. And then we get our wood block which just popped off. And then we could chuck it on there. And I think it looks really good. This is going to be the place where I'm going to live because the house which I originally built was just supposed to be a little house in the village. It wasn't ever supposed to be my permanent residence. Alrighty then, that's basically it for the village. I wanted to work on this little blacksmith here and just want to work on it. Uh, I wanted to get it working. I don't really have an idea for what the blacksmith is going to look like. I think I'm going to go base it among like this design over here, this really detailed house. I really liked this detailed house and I really like the planning going into it. So I think we were going to like plan it according to this little house and kind of have this theme all around. One thing I don't like about this house over here is how close it is to this house. Like the corner is basically touching that uh, beam over there. There's nothing really I can do about it. I don't think. 
which is such a shame. It's kind of like a building irritation OCD. I don't also want it as straight as this, but we'll see. Let's build that over there. And like that. I'm really sorry as well, but my channel has really lost a lot of its Minecraft content and the focus of the Minecraft content. Oh man, how are we going to be doing this? I think we have to shift the house this way a little bit. So, let's just take down this wall and chuck it over here. I don't... It's so irritating have the having this corner so close. Oh man, let's get rid of it. I'm really so sorry that a lot of Minecraft content is just basically gone. It's not that I've lost interest in Minecraft. It's that Minecraft takes way too long to record and edit. Especially with kind of the quality that we... Well, you guys would ever expect of me. And the quality I would ever expect of myself. There's a lot of expectation riding around. Well, I'm not sure. I feel like there's a lot of expectation. I guess there's just a lot of expectation of me riding around my Minecraft content. Making sure it's good quality. Making sure there's enough progression during the episodes. And it does take a lot of time. Not so much to edit anymore because I haven't been doing Skyblock episodes. I'm hoping to end the Skyblock series soon. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this episode, there will be a Skyblock episode tomorrow. Get ready for that. I wanted to bring it back and make sure I finish it properly. Not with no unfinished businesses at all. Right, so the house be has been shifted. That looks kind of ugly. No, I, I don't like that. Hmm. Hmm. We could have a slanted roof. I think we'll try a slanted roof. So let's go bring this back a little bit. Let's... What slant shall we have? We could either have a blue roof or we could have a stone slab roof. Oh, come on, give me that stone slab. I guess I picked it up. No, it's, it's still here. What? There we go. Hmm, give me one second. I'll go figure this out. Alright, so the blacksmith has kind of changed drastically since the last time you've seen it. So I've got this image on Google Images. If you probably search up something like uh, blacksmith building, then you're going to come up with my inspiration. But it's got to have a stone floor, lower part of the building, which does really make sense. And then over here it's going to have a sloped roof. I just searched up because I couldn't think of anything. So... I think it looks really good actually. It really looks good like that. Uh, we're going to need... What do we need? We need a dark type of wood. Hmm, we could even use jungle wood. I haven't used jungle wood yet. Oh, okay, that looks really, we really weird. Let's get rid of that texture. Uh, okay, if we aim it up then that should be fine. Sweet. We're going to be using the jungle wood texture for these fences, just well, I think the oak wood would look a lot better because the <laughs> jungle wood colour, like everyone complains about jungle wood, well jungle logs anyway, looks kind of iffy for the fences. Those are going to be the stands for the sloping roof on the very front. I would show you the image, I'm not sure whether I can be bothered at, during editing. I don't really like editing Minecraft videos for all of that editing. If it pops up, then yay, I'm all nice and whatnot. Hmm. It looks alright. Could be lighter. Oh well, let's try and get this sorted for this part anyway. So we're going to have a sloping roof. We need slopes. We need slopes, not staircases. Because what? While staircases are pretty good for roofs, I prefer the wedge slopes. I think it, the staircases look really good for that. Actually, what I might do for these is I might remove the uh, pillars around here just so the darkness blends in because it looks really odd like this. So if we just remove something like this. Getting sidetracked, of course, but what can you really expect? Yeah, if we just blend in all the darkness... Uh, get rid of all the normal blue schist cobblestone because the blue schist cobblestone is really really obvious 
Uh, it's really obvious when you've got encumbered blocks and normal blocks next to each other. I think it might be because of this mod pack, to be honest, that it looks like this. Might not be because of the mod pack. I'll have to check like right now. Let's quickly do that. And that. Alright, let's just quickly take off the shaders. No, it's definitely noticeable without shaders. Whoa, that's really fast. Whoa! Everything looks so weird now. Whoa! Looks so odd. You know? Do you know what I mean? It looks really weird in this mode. Holy heck. Heck of runies. It's really fast and whatnot, but all of this looks really dull. Yeah, it looks like a normal arcade game. Hmm. Let's chuck this sh internal. Internal looks a lot better. Ash, it still looks arcadey, but internal shaders look alright. And then we just chuck. Which one was it? Light, I think. Whoa, light is really fast as well. Why don't we just use light? Whoa! Why is light so fast? Is this the one I've been using all the time? I think this one's been the one I've been using. Why is it so fast? Wow. Okay. <laughs> never mind that distraction. And then never mind this distraction as well. Yeah, that looks a whole lot better than what we originally had. And then... I could do the rest of it later. But... Yeah, the blending in all of the carpenter's blocks definitely helps out with the building attraction. Right, let's get back into this part. Right, so we need slopes. Let's get our carpenter's blocks. Okay, that looks kind of odd. Get our carpenter's blocks like that. We need a kind of thatch on top of there. For the sloping part. So we have a slope there. Oh. Whoa! That's weird! Whoa! Look how the image is changing! Whoa! That's so weird! I guess it kind of makes sense. For just like scrolling around to get that sort of image. Hmm. I'm just looking at the image which I'm kind of inspired of. I'm not sure how high this sloping roof is meant to be. Or how high we kind of plan it to be. Let's do that. Slope. Oh, oh, whoops, whoops. Nope. Do we just scroll it? Okay, no problem. Oh, stop it. If you shift, oh, if you hold shift and then you scroll, it comes up with all of these blocks. Yeah, this is going to be a pain. And then like that. How high is this going to be for the sloping roof? That is pretty high. Hmm. I think we might need to push it closer together. Let's get rid of these blocks. That is still pretty dang high. Yeah. I think we're going to have to push these... push the... push the building like closer together so it would definitely be smaller but on the other hand the roof would be a lot smaller as well so what is this it's eight wide so the building would be what it'd be six wide i think so we just move the fence closer in by two like so and then we can chuck the sloping roof on top. Hopefully the sloping roof looks good. I've never really used these wedge slopes to this day. Kind of an odd block to me. Oh, no, I scrolled again. It's kind of a weird block to me because I don't really mess around with wedge slopes by any means. I've always messed with uh, very blocky blocks, like staircase blocks. Uh, quite blocky. Yeah, that's a pretty reasonable height. The blacksmith is going to be tall, honestly. Holy heck, it is going to be cool. It is going to be really tall. Unless we can lower the height of this slope very slightly. No, I don't think so. Hmm. I mean, 
we don't specifically need to adjust it specifically to the Google image I'm looking at but if we can have a roof of about that height I think this height would be really good maybe one day we'll have enough space to build a blacksmith and make it look good maybe on our next project oh no no ow oh, no dang it dang it that looks really weird uh, let's get red and put the texture on. Ow! No! Dang it! Let's chuck. No, we want the slope. Huh! There we go. Yeah, that's a pretty good height. I like that height. And then we could also chuck these wedge slopes. No, 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 no. I don't know what we'll do about the, the inside part. So if we have something like that, then. Hmm. How can we adjust it so this will fit for this building? It's kind of like puzzle solving to be honest. I mean if we just bring if we just bring the wedge slope back it could work. I'm just bringing you guys along for the journey of building. If you ever want to try life in the woods it's always for building. I'm not sure how much it appeals for certain people but it definitely appeals for me who I don't really build that often I like the excuse of building hmm I think we might need to bring this part back as well unless we can can we turn it around slightly oh if we have oh brain ideas brain 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 okay brain we're going to shift this around, like this, and while the sun is setting at the same time. You can see the sun setting, right? It's setting behind the hills. I really like the sunsets in this. It gets dark pretty quickly, and you can definitely tell. Alright, let's get rid of all of this. Right. Hold on, my brain's on like a fast acceleration. Let's go like that. Let's go like that. Let's get our roof sorted. Ow. Who knew that carpenter's blocks were actually solid? Oh, no, I didn't want that. Let's get our carpenter's blocks scaffolding here. I like carpenter's blocks as scaffolding because they're very easy to break. Kind of like Neverwreck, you set a lot faster. So if we have something like so, and then we chuck the wedge slope around like this. Ah, uh, do you see what I'm getting at? I think this would look really good. You guys will have to let me know what you think as well though. 10 minutes recording, holy cow does time fly fast. I just need to check otherwise I'll go overtime and I don't really want to go overtime for these episodes. So I think, yeah that looks really good. I'm going to go play around with that idea and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. I give up, I have no idea what to do with the roof. I mean, I I used fir wood for these little stands for the uh, roof over here. I think that looks really good. And then I switched out the uh, sorry the blue pillars over here with the fir wood as well. I think the bottom half looks really good. I think the front looks really good as well. I don't know what to do about the roof. Look at it. It's all, it's all ugly. I was thinking about doing this maybe, like moving the wall in a little bit and then having an overhang like so. I think that's probably the way we'll probably approach it because that looks way too closed in like that. I'll quickly show you so what I'm thinking is we break all of these wood blocks here like so and then we get stuff like this and like that. Do we have any, uh, sorry, I know you can make slabs out of these wood types so we could probably slab, 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 there we go. We could slab like that. Right, let's do this. So I'm thinking having something like this. Okay, I've got six slabs too many. Doesn't really matter, I'll probably use them later. And then having a little bit of an overhang. I think that looks all right. I think it looks better. Although I'm not exactly sure what to do about this part, if you get what I mean. I don't know what to do about the roof, so I'm gonna go to you guys. What can we do about the roof? 
If no one comments in, I don't know, I'll go find a way. Maybe some fir wood? Maybe some fir wood would look good. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, the fir wood kind of looks good everywhere. Like, it, it looks good here. Oh, come on, seriously, I want to go get that corner block. Come on. I mean, the fir wood looks really good here. I think we might even use it for this little build. It looks really, really good. And, yeah, it's not exposed there. Looks great. I don't know what to do about that, to be honest. Um, um, I don't know, we'll just fill in this thing here for the moment. For this part, I'll probably just have a staircases. That way it can fill in the hole. Uh, we don't have any staircases on this. Doesn't really matter at this point. I think I'll call it an episode here, guys, actually, because I do want to record some other stuff. And uh, also, I have spent a lot of time off camera for this episode, and I do want to show you guys before continuing on anything too sp new. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I, there wasn't a video out last week, but hopefully we can continue to have a consistent upload schedule for Life in the Woods in the days to come. And we will work on this house, uh, I'll probably work on this house uh, off camera. And then that will be my off camera project and working on, and then I'll work on some other stuff in this village with you guys. So apart from that, we'll work on this next episode as well. Cheers for watching dudes, I'll catch you next time. Take it easy, have a good day. Have a good one guys, catch you next time.